Boom! So if you, like me, and you're getting a little bit tired of these bad boys in uh, meetings and workshops, stick around. Hi, my name is Van der Puchert and I am a creative entrepreneur. Now, in my line of work, from time to time, I have to host the odd workshop here and there. And they differ in scale and what people want from them. So it could be design thinking stuff, um, innovation, or even um, you know when there's challenges within a team for team building and that kind of stuff. And I have different tools in my arsenal and recently added another one. Now, very critical thing that I want to say in the beginning, you know, if the only thing you have is a hammer, everything is going to look like a nail. And it's not really about the tool or the application of the tool, but then it's really about focusing on the outcome and the outcomes that you want to achieve, right? So don't get sucked into the world of different tools. I mean, but by all means, hang out with me, geek out a little bit because you do get excited about these things. But just remember, it's always, always, always about the outcome and also like focusing on if it's relevant for the work that you're doing. So um, Playmobil partnered up with some people like Deutsche Bank, Adidas, and they started developing an interesting tool. Now, let's reveal this. So I've showed you Bob, the cowboy. He lives with his whole family in this Playmobil Pro kit. So it's quite a robust little kit that you buy. It's about 500 euro for this set. Um, and you have to explain to your better half why you spent that money on toys and you're not allowing your son to play with them. And I will probably mention this a few times. This is not a light kit. Um, the thing is, this set is quite robust. Nothing's going to fall out, which is great when you're traveling. But there is a little bit of weight to it because there's all kinds of nice goodies in it. Um, if you're going to be doing larger workshops, um, you're probably going to have to have more than one of these kits. Um, I've used this for up to 8 to 10 people without a problem. But then also the, the exercises I did using this wasn't too involved. But let's get into the kit and I'll show you all the different doors. So let me get rid of this. When you receive this, you will get a user guide. Now the user guide is all cool and it's very nice, but probably the most important part of the user guide is that it actually gives you all the elements uh, nicely unpacked because if you're anything like me uh, and you have a little bit of OCD, you wanna make sure that everything is still in your box after a, a session and specifically the fact that they have it in specific categories so that when you give this to your participants or the people that you draw into your workshop, it doesn't become overwhelming and people start scratching around like fools trying to find elements. So instruction manual, got that out of the way. And then I'm going to introduce you to the first layer. And the first layer is all the characters. So let me open this up. You'll see it's got a nice, it's nice and secure. So when you um, travel with this, nothing's going to fall out. You're not going to have a disaster in your plane or train. You flick this open and then you can actually remove these. I enjoy the way this is put together and the fact that it's so kind of modular in a way. The only, the only thing is, is that uh, even though this set is really nicely put together, it's strong, I wouldn't change this, uh, but it, it, it tends to get a little bit heavy, as I, I might have mentioned before. So just to go through here, um, one really good thing is that they also have females, right? So there's some female figures here. Um, then, of course, little kids. Yeah, uh, here's Mr. Artificial Intelligence. Um, I used this a few times in a workshop where people picked this guy up and immediately it wasn't a robot, it's other artificial intelligence or analytics or something like that. So once again, talking about metaphorical. Ooh, a little baby. Anyway, um, then for all the dog lovers out there, there's enough dogs to go around and farm animals. Now I know some of my mates really love farm animals. But let's not go into that. So there's all these things and then smaller little animals like little rats. You know, if you have a really bo bad boss, you can have this as, as a representation. Don't do that. Um, stay employed. So first layer, um, the figures. Once again, as I mentioned, they have their base plates and you're supposed to be drawing on these things and uh, getting people to get interactive. And as I mentioned, um, let them not think too literal about this. And the next layer that I'll introduce is costumes. So tons of hats, hats and cloaks. And uh, if you want to play the world's smallest violin, you know, if you have complaints, 
this bad boy is definitely here. They even have a drone in here. On the one side you have a drone and then you have like a little sales thing. Let me grab one of the figures and then pop this on. I mean, if you ever played with Playmobil as I did, you would quickly, quickly pick up how these things work. Um, woo, Viking Season 6. It's happening right now. Right, so I mean, I'm, I'm just messing around here and I'm already getting excited. And I must like tell you like when you introduce this, you get a few raised eyebrows. A nice warm up to, to do with this is um, in, in, instead of people actually introducing themselves around a table is to actually give each person one of these and then get them to build their personality. Um, I would probably go for something like this where, you know, I mean, I'm a man who loves a good hat and a excellent cup of coffee so um, this could be me and I can then of course write my name on it and that could be my representation for for the day but once again much better than a name badge and yeah so this is accessories um, electronics kitchen stuff eggs bones if you break your leg boom oh and this is some of the stuff I'll show you more of these but um, once again these also little elements that you can add that you can actually draw on these surfaces are made to make notes on to tell your story so when you start building these kind of narratives you can use elements like this to to help so this is the costumes and some of the accessories with the costumes then the next layer accessories now here's tons of stuff um, and it's funny enough i've i've done some some uh, corporate workshops and it's weird how people get excited about these yes computers so there's uh, desktops um, I have laptops, I don't think it's the latest MacBook Pro, but uh, you'll see this is like a little laptop keyboard in there. And then of course, revenue is an important thing. So there's ways to represent revenue. And if you can figure out how, how to open up the chest, get in there. Oh, I can't do it. There is um, some gold bars to make your CEO happy. Um, should sit down and shut up banner, with little chairs. And then, of course, one of my favorite elements, a whiteboard, so you can actually really draw on the damn thing. Um, lots of little elements like postal services stuff, books, um, ooh, swing chairs, office pranks galore. Um, then also um, little um, easels where you can actually also add your own elements and, and uh, material, uh, stick a sticky note up there, or help tell the story. And of course, you can't have an office without a little table. So, and you can see these things actually like nicely fitting here. Um, I don't know why I get drawn to things like this, but a little skull. Um, and then, yeah, a little timer thingy mabop. I mean, a skateboard, flowers. Oh, a shopping trolley, e-commerce, here we come. This is the accessories tray. And they marked on the front end here, they each have the little elements. And then the final tray, if I can get it to open, and it's actually quite interesting because when you have it like this, it can't open. And let me throw that out. I mean, they do give you like a little sticky note, Padma Bob, which you probably will never use, but it's nice to have anyway. Uh, and this is the cleans, uh, the wipes, so to easily clean the, the figures when you've done your experimentation and your workshop. Some tape, uh, particularly like this tape, um, usually what you use this tape for is to map stuff out on the table and then uh, give this to the participants to kind of draw timelines or barriers or things like that. So uh, very clever to add this into the mix. Um, then they also have these elements, little stands to make things stand up because what you could actually do is create little scenes. You download some of these scenes and you create a real environment. If you wanted to go down a service design route to uh, unpack or build certain storylines, you could do that. And they have multiple little sucker cups here and things that you could use to further tell your stories, build scenes, um, you have those, and then get back here, flags, once again, white so you can write on it. These dot votes is not, is not included, that's mine. But you can see there's ample space to add some more additional elements into it so that you can travel with this. Yeah, it's a really handy kit. Like I said, a lot of the things that I build 
is not necessarily like very uh, literal. So very met metaphorical. What I do encourage people to do though when they use the kit is to draw things or to add other elements. Like I mentioned, you have these little stands in here and flags and, and elements that you can use to add scenes to, to your journey. So for example, I think what makes this really powerful is the fact that these elements uh, visualize, especially when you work in a group, um, when people start moving things around and it starts be becoming tangible, um, it's very easy for people to see if there's a, a, a problem moving from point A to point B, like this is in the way, or how does this person get to that person? How do I do that? Um, we need to create some kind of vehicle. Maybe it's an it's a, it's a email. Oopsie. There's an email, email being sent to that person, but it's something that you didn't realize before, right? So this is really an interesting tool to visualize things and also spot where there are problems because usually when you're in a meeting, everybody sits around and they are nodding up and down, yes, we all agree, but actually in their brain boxes, there's different pictures being formed. And if you don't express it or visualize it or draw it on a board or use a tool like this, um, you know, you might run into trouble. So great tool to visualize things. Oh, and maybe I'll give you a real world example. So recently I ran a workshop where uh, the person represented his team like this. And uh, so he had many figures standing around. All right, let me get, get rid of the email here. And uh, he represented the, the, the team that they were working with as this. Now what's also interesting when you facilitate a workshop like this, a good question to ask the team is like, why are you representing your team as adults or, and the team that you are working with in the other department as children, right? And that in itself sparks an interesting debate. But in this example, the guy also insisted that he wanted the team to have a fox. And I asked him like, why, why do they have a fox? Because this team doesn't really give a fox to that team. So. <laughs> Once again, a bit of a lighthearted moment. It happened in a real workshop with really senior people. And uh, once again, visualized by a simple and very interactive tool and something that I'm really excited to be exploring even more. So there you have it, Bob and all his friends. And as I mentioned, um, this is a kit done by Playmobil Pro. And if you're like me and you always want to reminisce about your youth, um, makes sense to get one of these to, to use. And I've been very happy with my purchase. Um, I think there's a lot more to explore. So I definitely want to push the boundaries of some of the workshops that I'm doing. But then with a huge caveat that I wanted to add is that this is not for every client. This is not for every scenario. Um, be very careful when you introduce this to whatever team, make sure it's going to get you to the outcomes that you're looking for. Then finally, um, on the Playmobil Pro website, you will find tools. So if you're not familiar with things like empathy mapping, um, the business model canvas, I showed the empathy map earlier when I was trying to draw it for you. Um, they have some tools there that you can download. But for me, the biggest fun with this thing, with this set, this tool, this toy, is the fact that you can come up with your own ideas and structure your own workshop. And sometimes you don't even have to do that. You can just introduce this to your colleagues and get their hands busy. Because when people start fiddling with their hands, start building stuff, interesting things start to happen. So I hope this was useful. And uh, I wanna thank you for watching to this point. And yeah, please leave a comment and I will catch you in the comments.